Okay, for example, I got this uh, variables called gender lah, eh? I got gender, and then this thing, um, I'm going to teach you this thing next week, so don't worry. So we got the male and females as the samples. Okay, we got males and we got a female here. Female, female, and then uh, I got here is uh, weight lah, eh? weight. So I'm going to put the data here lah. For example, uh, we got one is what? One is male kan? Contohnya kan ni berapa orang lelaki? Example lah kan. Kita ada 12 orang lelaki, kita ada a few ladies here. Contoh lah eh. Contoh eh. Ladies jangan terasa pula. Eh bukan ladies ramai ke dalam kelas ni? Just example only. Eh. Okay wait. Wait of male. Come on. Give me some numbers. 56. Bohong lah. 78. 77. 67. 65. 56. 56. 67. 89. 90. 65, 69 lagi 67, okay female give me some numbers about your weight Example only Oh 45, 46, 47 46, 78 56, 76 56, uh, 67, 61, 62 34 ada? Tak nak ada kan 45, 45 ni macam bohong lah 50 lah kan 55, 54 56, 57, 89 ada 89 Adalah kan konon-konon So 67 and then 69 We got another female got 54 67 Okay this is example we got 33 33 data Correct or not? Yeah, this is example only eh? Can you see it or you cannot see it? Can you see it? You can see the data already right Okay so I'm going to analyze the descriptive data So this is what I'm called uh, this is what we call it as a frequency, or sorry, this is called a uh, descriptive statistic. Eh? I'm going to click here. Can you see inside this box? We call it as a central tendency. So you can request the computer to generate the mean mode median straight away. So therefore, the, the important things of our discussion today is actually how you want to understand those things, not actually do the calculations. Faham tak? It's not merely to uh, nak kena tahu kira macam mana, tak, no, no, no. Basically, it's just for you to understand after the output is being produced, what you need to look at, what you need to understand about that output. And then this is a quartz. I remember about the IQR. Okay, this is the IQR. This is the expression about the standard deviations, variance. And remember about the skewness and courtesies I'm talking to you before. This one is for measuring whether the data is normally tabulated or not. Correct. So now you just click continue and then you just click OK. And straight away, the computer will calculate for you in just a split second. Pam, keluar macam tu. So can you see it or you cannot see it? If you cannot see, so that means you need to wear the sunglasses, you know. Not sunglasses lah, apa tu panggil? Glasses lah kan. So this is the, the data lah. Okay, can you see the data here? Yeah, uh, We got the 33 data, mean 63, median 65, mode 67, standard deviation is 12, uh, variance is 160, skewness is 0 0.4, standard error of skewness is 0 0.4. So I'm asking you whether the data is normal or not normal based on this justification, what do you think? Normal or not normal? What do you think? I already explained to you, you take the skewness, you divide by the standard area of the skewness. You try yourself now. 0 0.488 divided by 0 0.409. What you got? One point something, right? Come on, come on, ladies and gentlemen, just go to your calculator. And then you can just calculate an estimate about the uh, standard error. 0 0.488 divided by 0 0.409. <coughs> you got 1.19. It's still... Uh, acceptable because it still fall within the plus minus one or plus minus two based on the uh, some researcher. Eh? So we can say that this data is normally tabulated. Betul tak? Eh? Data ni bertabung normal. Ataupun yang saya kata tadi, the rule of thumb is you looking into the standard area of the skewness and then you times by two. So this 0 0.4, you times by two, you got 0 0.8, right? 0 0.8 is more than the skewness of the given one. 0 0.488. Faham tak ni? You ambil 0.409, ni kali dua, you nampak 0.8 kan? 0.8 tu is more than this one, the skewness that being given. So that is the rule of thumb lah untuk you screen the data. So for me, I am fully justified that this data is normally tabulated. I would say that, okay, this data is good because it's tabulated normally. Uh, and then I can use the parametric test. Faham tak? I can use the parametric test. And I'm, uh, I'm convincing to focus on the mean and standard deviations for the focus of the discussions of the data. Eh? So after that, for example, we want to establish a hypothesis testing. So based on our, based on my judgment just now, I'm talking about the um, hypothesis testing, right? 
So we are going to test by comparing the mean using the independent sample to test. So you can see here, we got mean, we got one sample to test, we got independent sample to test, pet sample and one weight ANOVA. So based on this, that's why saya kata dengan you, tak boleh hafal pun. Because in the end of the day, you will know all these things. Just you need to know where you where where to find it and what it is for. Contoh kan, macam one sample to test are for you to measure with the standard. Independent sample to test is where you want to compare between two groups. Pet sample to test is when you want to compare the before and after. One way ANOVA is where you want to compare more than two groups, okay? And then if the data is not normally tabulated, for example, it's not normal, then you are focusing on the non-parametric test. You can see here lah under the legacy dialog, we got the one sample K test, and then we got the independent sample to test, and independent sample test, K independent samples, we got the two related sample and K related samples. All of these are considered non-parametric analysis if your data is not normally tabulated. Faham tak? Faham ke tak apa yang saya cakap ni? Ke saya cakap seorang-seorang ni? I'm talking my own lah. Wah! It's very difficult lah. So for example, I want to measure about the mean, independent sample to test. I'm going to measure the weight between the gender. So before I can do that, I need to establish my five hypothesis testing. Correct or not correct? Correct or not correct? Co correct or not correct? Or you are so... Not interested anymore. Not interested, never mind. I can just close this. So, for example, I want to measure the differences of the weight between the gender, right? So, the first step is what? Hypothesis, null and alternative. Correct, kan? Hypothesis. So, kita akan ada hypothesis null. Hypo, hypothesis null. Apa dia? Hypothesis null kita apa dia? Weight of the male and female are Same ataupun equal lah kan ha. Tapi bila kita kata weight ni Dia tak tepat lah Sebenarnya mean eh Mean of the weight Of the male and female are equal So if my English is not so good Please don't condemn me Because I'm not an Englishman okay So hypothesis alternative Which is uh, we are consider uh, To look into any differences kan So dia bukan sama dengan ni Dia dot dot eh Ini dalam bentuk ayat Ayat perkataan tau So you must able to understand uh, Perkataan itu dalam bentuk uh, Penulisan statistik And also using um, Words So hypothesis alternative In this uh, focus I'm going to express my Attention here Where uh, We perceive uh, Different lah kan Mean of the male And female Are not equal So this is the first step The second step is Alpha correct Alpha is equal to what? 0.05 And then the third one We run the uh, statistic The fourth one we make decision And then the last one but not least is To make a conclusion Okay, so far so good You can see this one You can see from the back there You cannot see eh Because it's so blur eh okay, Never mind lah I try to highlight lah Nampak kan? Boleh nampak? Ada masa depan lah kan? Nampak sikit kan? Okay Okay lah tu ada juga LCD kan. So this one. You tengok kan you tak boleh klik okay kan. Why? Because the computer is explaining to you and give you some hint. Gender uh, question mark question mark. That's mean we need to define. The group one is one because we number one as male and then we number two as V as female. Correct. And then we click the okay button. Okay okay before I forgot. Another button that you need to consider also is this one eh option and then you see this one confident level percentage is 95 why i set to 95 because this is as default 0.05 of alpha so if you want to use something that is more accurate then you must increase the confident levels of the percentage for example 99.99 so that's mean your alpha is 0.001 okay so based on this i i make it as default so this is our data male is 70.5 female is 59 so this is the standard deviations So we are going to look into this table. You can see this table, right? So this table actually consists of two tables. The first table is what I highlight here. We call it as a Levine test for the equality of variance. This one, you need to know if you see that SIG, this one is SIG, kan? This SIG is more than alpha, more than 0.05, then you focus on the first row only. If the SIG less than alpha, you focus on the below row. So based on this, we focus on the first row, correct? Sebab dia more than 0.05 kan? Okay, habis. So now, where is our t-test? So this is our t-test. 
Boleh nampak? This is our t-test tau. Yang saya highlight ni. Nampak tak? Yang kerja bergerak. Oh tak nampak yang kerja ni bergerak. Ha ni saya highlight ni. This is our data. Yang saya hitamkan ni. This is our t-test. So where is actually the SIG? This one. You see SIG? And the value is 0.013. 0.013 is actually the value that you need to compare with your alpha. What is your alpha? 0.0. So this one is less than or more than? Correct. Is it is less than, not more than, because our alpha is 0.05. This one is 0 0.013. Our alpha 0.015. This one is 0.013. More than or less than? Ah, correct. So the p value is less than alpha. So you need to reject or fail to reject your alpha. Yes, that's good. Then you need to report your data here. So you will report what? You run analysis and then you report your p-value. So your p-value is equal to 0 0.013 and then your t-statistic. Your t-statistic will be recorded as follows lah. You akan ambil value dia berapa? 2.626 is equal to 2.626. So this one we call it as the uh, t-statistical value and then you make decision to reject or fail to reject. Reject and then you make a conclusion. What is your conclusion then? Apa your conclusion? There is significant difference of the mean weight between male and female at significant level 0 0.05. Okay, faham? This is how you want to do the hypothesis testing. And then you can say lah, male recorded um, mean of weight Ha, berapa? You cerita lah dia punya descriptive kan? Blah, 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 blah. Female on the other hand recorded blah, 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 blah. You type lah apa benda yang cerita. Faham tak? So this is how we want to do the uh, independent sample test. Just giving you some examples lah. Okay, if you want to do this analysis inside the um, Excel also can. But before I forgot and move around, I need to address and recorrect, not recorrect.